Hi guys, I'm Steph. Thank you so much for checking out my channel today. This is going to be the ninth update for my lip challenge. Just a quick rundown in case you're not familiar. I started this challenge on May 14th, so it has been going on for quite a few months now, and I'm trying to use every lip product in my collection. That's pretty much it. So I have to use every single product at least once before I go back to anything else, and that will be the end of the project. So just to kind of give you an idea of where we are, I have at this point used 70% of my lip products since May, so that is really exciting. And in this update, I will have finished using up my lip balm. So I had five lip balms in this challenge. I have some ones that I didn't put in this challenge just because they're not colored. I used them at night. It wasn't it didn't really make sense. So there was five colored lip balms in this challenge and I used the last one in this past two weeks. So that will finish off that category, which is really exciting. At the end, I will give you my numbers in the other categories, but I have been keeping track each month and I always put it in the description box. Sometimes I forget to mention it, so you might not know that, but if you check the description box, I list all the lip products that I've worn and I have a count of how many of the products from each category I have used thus far. On a side note, I was sick this past week, so I really was not wearing as many lip products. So I don't have two full weeks use of lip products to show you, but I do have 12. So let's go ahead and get into it. The first product I wore is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick, and this is in the shade Plum Bum. I really like how this look turned out. I think it paired really nice. This is such like a beautiful fall color. This is like totally up my alley. Here's the swatch of it right here. It isn't as purple as you think a shade Plum Bum would be. You think it would be like a much more darker purple. And I just think it's like a very nice kind of mauve purple. I, I really enjoy it. And the Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipsticks, they really last a long time. They go on so opaque. They don't ever really dry down, so that's something to keep in mind. That means they're not too drying on the lips, but there's always a risk of transfer. Next, I wore the Collection Velvet Kiss Moisturizing Lip Cream in Mango. I have a whole swatch video, which I will link down below, where I um, swatched, lip swatched and reviewed the whole line. And I really like this color. I always think it's going to be so bright based on the packaging. It's so intense. But honestly, here's the swatch of it. But I think on the lips, it just almost looks like a nice stain to the lips. These aren't very opaque, which if you want something opaque with a bold color, that's usually what I like. But if you're just testing out some bolder colors, I think this is a great line because it lets you see if you're comfortable wearing those types of colors. You can really share them out, blot them down so they're not so intense. So I think it's really fun if you're just like dipping your toe into colors. Next, this was the first time I ever wore this lip product and this is one of the NYX Liquid Suede's, which you know I love, in the shade Tea and Cookies. And I thought it was going to be more of like a muted pink based on the packaging and based on the lip swatch, but I do feel like it came off a bit brighter on my lips. But overall, I still enjoyed it. I don't think it is my favorite shade. I just don't think it's most flattering for me. But I kind of do like it with the blonde hair. I don't know how good it would have looked with my brown hair. And the lip balm I used, which was the fifth lip balm out of the five I was trying to use. This is the Body Shop Cranberry Shimmer Lip Balm. So there it is in the container. And this is just like a very light swatch of it. It surprisingly does give some color to the lips. And really, I don't tend to wear lip balms like this out during the day just because I'm not going to reapply it. I don't like putting like my fingers into a jar and putting it on my lips. I prefer to wear something like this right when I wake up in the morning or at night so I know my hands are clean before I'm dipping into the product. So this is something that I really try to get more use of at nighttime, but I did want to wear it one day. It was like a really dry day, so it was really nice just to have a lip balm on versus like another product that was going to dry out my lips. And this is also after like three days of liquid lipsticks, so it's nice to kind of have that balm on my lips versus another drawing lip product. The next product was also from the collection of Velvet Kiss line, and this is in the shade Blackberry. I really love this shade. This is what I thought like plum bum would be, this type of darker purple. And there it is right there. It's just like a really nice vampy purple. I love it for this time of year. It definitely does look purple on the lips. I 
hope you can tell from the picture. But I really enjoy it. I love it for this time of year. I've saved a lot of my vampire shades for this time of year just because in the middle of summer I didn't really wasn't drawn to stuff like this. So I'm glad I'm kind of getting the chance to use them all now because like vampy colors like that are probably some of my favorites. Like I love those rich berries. And I really love like purpley grays as well. So I'm like loving this time of year for lip color. The next ones I wore were a pairing of a lip liner and a lip gloss. So this lip liner is the Essence Lip Liner in Satin Mauve, and this is probably the first lip liner I ever bought. There it is. I do really like this color, but I tend not to get a lot of use out of my lip liners, which is why this challenge has been so great. But I wore it all over my lips, and then I topped it with this gloss. So this is just like a sheer gloss with a bit of shimmer in it. I'm not even sure if you're going to be able to see from the swatch there. Anyways, this came in one of those like One Direction makeup kits. My boyfriend bought it for the holidays like a few years ago and I never really dug into it. Honestly, when he bought it for me, I wasn't even into makeup. He got it for me because it was one of the tins and Niall was like on the cover and he was my favorite one and yeah. Anyways, so it's just a lip gloss from one of those like makeup tin boxes. It's not the greatest lipstick. It is or sorry, lip gloss. It is very sticky. I find when I put it back in the tube, a lot like comes out around the edges. It's kind of just like a whole messy affair, but I don't know. It's not very much, so I'm probably just going to try to paint it once this product is over just to get it out of my collection. Sorry, my bangs keep falling in front of my face today. I like parted my hair pretty like side part this way, and they just don't seem to want to be over here. Anyways, this next one is like my favorite color. This is one of the Maybelline Stay Matte inks in Visionary and I like this is the type of color I love and I think it looks so flattering I just like I really really enjoy this shade this is 100% my favorite lip color to wear and there it is right there the thing with this is the matte inks I don't think I'd buy any more in this formula just because it never dries down it's like very tacky throughout the day like if you stick your lips together like they stick together and it's just it's not the most fun product to wear, but I love this color so much. I saw a lip swatch video. I saw this color, and I had to pick it up, and I haven't regretted it because I love this color so much, and even though I do have purpley grays in my collection, I do think this one is still unique. I really, really enjoy it, so for the color, it was worth it for me, but the formula itself, I wouldn't pick up any more in this formula. Next is a Revlon lipstick, and I've talked numerous times about how I think Revlon lipsticks are underrated, and this for the longest time was my favorite lipstick and this is in the shade 510 Berry Rich. There it is right there. I just think it's so flowering. It's like it's a little bit b above like a My Lips But Better type of shade. Like it gives it like that extra little bit. It's not too far off from my natural color but it's enough to be like oh I'm wearing lipstick but I really like it. I think it goes on so smoothly. It's so flattering. I really really enjoy this shade. This is in their cream finish which is my favorite finish from the Revlon lipsticks and yeah I just really like it. I don't have enough good things to say about it. Next is a Rimmel lipstick in their lasting finish lipstick collection and it's in the shade 124 Bordeaux and I bought this because it was like two dollars. Um, it was just like on, really on a huge sale at the grocery store like last year so I picked it up and honestly I'm not the biggest fan. This is it swatched here. It just kind of goes on very patchy like a color like this it's very dark and vampy perfect for this time of year but I just like want it to go on opaque and like I wanted it to be this color but as you can see from the picture like when it's on the lips it just it, it isn't this dark it's more of like a reddish I feel it wasn't like this deep rich color that I wanted so I don't know it, was, it wasn't really the color that I wanted I find that it like it doesn't go on the most opaque I don't love the formula so I don't know I haven't had much luck with the Rimmel lipsticks. I don't know if it's just like I pick weird colors because the other Rimmel lipstick I have is like this really bright coral. So maybe we're just picking colors that are too out there. I don't know. I don't really hear anyone talk about the Rimmel lipsticks unless it's like the ones by in collaboration with Kate Moss. So I don't know. What do you guys think about Rimmel lipsticks? Do you have any luck with them? The other day I wore this Bite Beauty one. I really like the Bite Beauty formula. I think it's really nice. It can be a bit drying so I do suggest wearing a lip balm under it. The color payoff is just absolutely amazing. This is the November 2016 shade and there it is right there. I love it. It definitely comes across as purple on the lips but I think it is so beautiful. Like I love purple shades. 
I think it's amazing. I really like this formula. Like, I would definitely purchase more of my beauty products, and I love this color, and I'm really glad I did get a chance to pick it up. And then the shade I'm wearing today, I kind of picked it to, like, match my nails. I think I did a pretty good job matching it. Anyways, this is the from ColourPop, and it was with the Laura Lee Club for... Oh, it was like for the animals. I forget exactly who the money was going to. Anyways, this is one of their Ultra Satin Lips, and it's in the shade BAM. And even though I have it on my lips, I am going to swatch it for you. And there it is right there. I'm really liking it. It is a really beautiful shade for this time of year, I think. I think it's something I would find hard to kind of pull off in the middle of summer, but I think fall, winter is like a perfect time for this type of color. I was worried it was going to be like very reddish, but... I don't know, it's like a deep, dark, like, red, but like, purpley. I don't know, I really am enjoying it. The only thing is, it was like, I don't know, I don't love the wands on the ColourPop ones. Like, they're very, like, kind of fuzzy. I'm not sure if you can tell. So I find it, like, sometimes difficult to get the most precise line. And with a color so dark, it definitely was, like, the most even. So then I had to go in with, like, a lip brush and, like, concealer and, like, trying to kind of make it match up and more even so that was like a whole big thing and not an issue I usually have but I feel like with darker colors it's just so much more noticeable if the lip like application isn't quite perfect so definitely something to consider when buying such a dark color but overall I do like the application I really do like the ultra satin lips the ultra matte lips are way too dry for me I find that the ultra satin lips they dry down there's very little transfer with them and they look beautiful so definitely my preferred formula for the color pop liquid lips so as of now for my numbers for lip balm I have used five out of the five lip balms for lipstick there's I have 43 lipsticks in my collection and so far I've used 31 for my liquid lipsticks I have 59 and so far I have used 45 of them for my lip liners I have 15 and so far I've used 11 so very close in that category and for my lip glosses, I have 22 and I've used 11. So definitely the area where I seem to not gravitate towards is lip glosses. I'm kind of surprised with my lip liner numbers. I think it's because I've been forcing myself to do it. But I am really loving a lip liner all over the lip paired with a gloss. I think is so pretty. That is how I have used, up, used most of my lip liners and lip glosses, which is probably why they're both at 11. So overall, I have used 103 lip products since May and I have 144 in my collection. So like I said, a bit over 70%. If you want to continue to follow along with my lip challenge, then make sure you subscribe so you're notified when I post my next update. They usually go up on Sundays within like a week, every two weeks. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and have a great day. Bye.